Hi. In this episode, I'm going to be looking at how to code a custom performance metric for the MetaTrader strategy tester and looking at why it's so important to do this to make your optimizations more robust. I'll also be showing you how to code this performance metric to help avoid the effects of overfitting. And so if all that sounds good, then stay tuned. So let's take a look at what a custom performance metric is. You're probably already aware of the standard out of the box performance metrics in the MT5 strategy tester, and these are shown in the image below. However, these aren't really adequate if we're going to undertake a really robust selection of parameters from our optimization. And that's where the final option comes in, the custom max. This allows you to use your own performance metric to your own exact required specification. And this allows you to rate or to score the effectiveness of each of the parameter sets by coding your own metric. So how do we implement a custom performance metric in MQL? Well, this is undertaken in a function called onTester within your EA's code. And the only purpose really of onTester is to undertake this particular capability of creating your own custom performance metric. And you do that within the function and then simply return that value from the function. And then MetaTrader knows that that is what it's going to use in order to rank the different parameter values in the optimization. So let's now take a look at the custom performance metric that we're going to develop as the example in today's tutorial. Firstly, this will be broadly based on the principles of the profit factor metric. And the reason I'm using this as the starting point for the metric is that it's something that most traders understand and they understand the calculation behind it. It's also fairly simple. So basically it's the sum of the profits from all of the profitable trades divided by the sum of the losses from all of the losing trades. So that will be our starting point. But what our metric will then do is improve on this and will address two common problems. The first problem is one that's specific to profit factor itself. And this is when you're using a scaled position sizing strategy within your trading system. And by that, I mean that as the equity in the account increases, you also increase the position size of the trades that you're taking. And likewise, if the equity of the account decreases, then you'd also decrease the size of the trades that you were taking. Now, this causes a real issue for profit factor, because what it means is that if you've got a profitable system with equity increasing as the test duration goes on, it means that the trades towards the end of the test have a much larger position size than the trades at the beginning of the test. And so from a profit factor point of view, they have far too much weighting towards the end and the trades at the beginning play only a very small part in the calculation of the profit factor. And likewise, if you have a poorly performing set of parameters in that system and the equity actually reduces, it means that profit factor gives the trades early on with the largest position sizes a much bigger weighting than the trades at the end of the test period, by which time the position size has reduced. And so this gives you a skewed effect by meaning that each trade has a different impact on the eventual profit factor that's calculated. Now, the second problem that we're going to try to address with our custom performance metric is avoiding the effects of news events overfitting. And if you saw episode five of my backtesting and optimization series, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. Now, news events can skew the results in an optimization considerably and mean that we don't select the best parameters 
and instead we select the parameters based on random chance of whether a set of parameters was positively affected or negatively affected by certain news events. And so to help reduce this, we can remove those trades that were affected by these events before we actually perform the calculation of the profit factor. And this means that our optimizations will be selecting the parameters that are genuinely the best rather than selecting those parameters that were just affected by random chance either in a positive way or a negative way. So now we're going to get straight into the coding for our custom performance metric. So click here to go to part 2.2.